What if you and your best friend unknowingly wore the same t-shirt? Would it be a coincidence? What if you and your bestie shared the same birthday? Perhaps it would be a coincidence, right? But wait, what if you and your friend were born at the same hospital with the exact same room number and treated by the same doctor? Would you call it a coincidence? Or something as a predetermined fate? Whether you believe in coincidence or not, here are some instances in history which will surely blow your mind. Number 1. Mark Twain and the Halley's Comet Halley's is the name of a comet which can be seen from the Earth every 75 years. A famous American writer Mark Twain was born in 1835, a year that Halley's Comet was visible from the Earth. In 1910, he died from a heart attack at the age of 75 during the next appearance of the comet. When he was alive, he said, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. Number 2. Japanese Survivor On August 6, 1945, Yamaguchi, a Japanese man who went to Hiroshima for a business trip, was preparing to leave the city with his colleagues. On his way to the station, he realized he had forgotten his stamp and returned to his workplace to get it. As he was walking towards the docks, the American fighter plane dropped the atom bomb near the center of the city. Yamaguchi was heavily injured, but he survived the explosion as he was just 3 kilometers away from the fatal zone. Next morning, he went to Nagasaki, his hometown, to receive treatment from a hospital. On the same day, he went back to work and was describing the Hiroshima atomic blast to his supervisor. The supervisor did not believe him and called Yamaguchi crazy. But little did he know the truth and another atom bomb was already dropped on Japan but this time it was dropped on their town, Nagasaki. Thousands of people died in the blast but guess what? Yamaguchi again survived and he went on to live for another 65 years. Number 3. Luckiest Bad Luck Violet Jessup, a stewards and a nurse, who worked on many world famous ships like Titanic, Olympic and Britannic, was present inside the Olympic when it collided with the Hawk. She was also on the Britannic when it struck a mine at sea and sunk. You might have watched the Titanic movie or at least heard the name Titanic. Violet Jessop, she was also present on the Titanic when it famously hit an iceberg and caused the unsinkable ship to sink. The three ships were sister ships and Jessop survived all three encounters, earning her the nickname Miss Unsinkable. Number 4 The founder of the Ferrari company, Enzo Ferrari, died on August 14, 1988. Just a month later, on October 15, Arsenal footballer Mesut Ozil was born. Take a look at their pictures side by side. What do you think? Is this a massive coincidence or proof of reincarnation? Number 5. Death can strike anyone. South African astronomer Danny Tutuit gave a lecture on how death can strike anyone at any time. Upon the completion of his lecture, Tutuit popped a mint into his mouth. It slid into the back of his throat causing him to choke to death on the spot. Number 6. Stephen Hawking Stephen Hawking was born on January 8, 1942 on the death anniversary of Galileo Galilei. Hawking died on the 14th March 2018 on the birth anniversary of Albert Einstein. And 14th March is also considered as Pi Day, a mathematical constant which has no end. Three giants of cosmology are solely interrelated. Number 7. Lincoln and Kennedy this is by far the biggest coincidence in history. Abraham Lincoln was elected in Congress in 1846 and 100 years later, John Kennedy was elected to Congress. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860 and 100 years later, John Kennedy was elected as president. The name Lincoln and Kennedy each contain seven letters. Both were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both of their wives lost their children while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot dead on their head on a Friday. Both successors were named Johnson. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808 
and Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. Do you believe in coincidence? Have you ever come across a coincidence? Let us know in the comment section. Until then, stay tuned for more.